are finally back on the road again. Uh, it's been a long time since we've uh, really done anything. Uh, we've had a few uh, hiccups along the way with the vehicle. Um, I'll go into it a bit later, give you a bit of background what happened. But basically we've had to put a new motor in the car. Uh, had a few little problems come about and it was better off just whacking a new motor in um, than going through all the other rigmarole of trying to repair what was there. So safer option was to throw a new one in. Well, currently we're on our way to Brisbane, uh, heading up to the MDC uh, factory. Um, on our way to meet up with everyone to go to the big red bash. So we're um, probably just south of Coffs Harbour at the moment. Uh, you know, punch through and yeah, get the Brisbane sub stage today, go and catch up with the guys there, um, and then have a couple of days up there with them, and we head off on Monday to uh, start our journey at the Big Red. Um, this will be our second year going to the bash. Um, first year, last year being our first one, sorry. So we're really looking forward to it. Um, we're going to do a lot of this year on the filming side of it, just showing people what you need to do when you go to the bash. Like last year, we were, we were real first timers. We made a few mistakes, um, so we sort of learnt by them um, what to do and what not to do, what to bring and what not to bring. So we'll go through all that and just you know, a couple of little free camps that are on the way as well. We'll show you them. Um, yeah, but basically, um, just want to. Yeah, get some footage for you guys, especially people that might be thinking about going out to the bash. And, you know, take it on your own merit, whatever you want to do. If you want to take some information away from what we provide, that'd be great. If not, you know, here's what it is. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, take you along for the ride. And hopefully um, we have a trouble for you run. And we get up there, no dramas at all. Catch us. Good afternoon guys, it's been a few uh, couple of days since we've uh, had a bit of a chat but we last chat we were leaving uh, Coffs Harbour on our way to Brisbane well we've been in Brisbane now on, we arrived there on Friday afternoon and we left there Monday morning so we caught up with some friends while we were up there that we met last year at the bash and went over to the MDC factory and had a look around there and met up with everyone, um, which was really good. It was an awesome experience to go and see that. Um, we just sort of chilled around as well. Um, went and done some shopping and all that stuff that you got to do. And then we, on Monday morning, we went down to back down to MDC headquarters, and then we decided to journey out with the guys to Big Red Bash. Um, as you know, I've stated before that we've um, just put a new motor in the car and we've had a few hiccups uh, on our way out here. Um, basically leaving Brisbane, heading out towards Toowoomba to Dalby. We had to actually stop at Dalby and uh, get into a Mitsubishi dealer to get a computer put on the car. Just it was real la lacking power and struggling just to have any horsepower to get going um like probably putting it down to more it's just a brand new motor very tight trying and towing um yeah that's yeah we can't pinpoint what was the actual problem um sort of looks like it might have been a bit of a throttle sensor issue but it's now um today's now tuesday we're back on the road again after spending the night in dalby and we are staying tonight at the Ward River Campground, which is just outside of Charleville. We were, we were going to try and... Sorry, just turned it... Uh, just, GoPro just turned itself off. We were going to try and get to Quilpie tonight, but we decided to uh, just pull up here nice and early, give the car a bit of a rest, and probably ourselves a bit of a rest too. So, yeah, well, here we are on the edge of the... Um, Ward River Campground, so this is basically our view, looking outside the van. Uh, Ward River there, got the bridge just up ahead, a few campers up around there. Um, that's us for a night, there's Shirley. Hi Shirley, how are you? How's the journey been so far? Good. Good? No stress? A little bit. 
a little bit. It hasn't been fun, has it? But we're, we're here now, so everything's going good. So, yeah, we stayed hooked up tonight. We'll get away early again tomorrow. Head over to um, get the corpy, fuel up and grab it. We've got to get it corpy. And then um, <coughs> hopefully we're going to try and catch up with the, um, the rest of the MDC crew. Uh, they're possibly going... They were going to go up through Winnemunca, but we're not quite sure with road closures what they're going to do yet. So hopefully, well, not hopefully, I hope they get to do that route, but if they don't, um, they're going to head back up towards Quilpie and then across to Petuda, which is where we're going to go to tomorrow night is Petuda as well. Um, so hopefully we'll get to catch up with them all again. If not, we'll catch up on Thursday at the Common in Birdsville. Um, they're predicting a bit of rain. Uh... So far, so good. Look, it is what it is. You can't, not much you can do about it. If it rains, it rains. You just got to manage it the best you can. But anyway, we'll, um, we're going to sign off and we'll get some footage in the morning as we're leaving here. Uh, have some dinner and just sort of kick back and relax and just enjoy this riverside camp and it's an awesome little spot. So, anyway, we'll catch you all tomorrow and uh, catch us. Bye. Uh, morning, everyone. Just, uh, Filled up at Quilpy. We stayed at uh, Woods River Campground last night on the Diamantina development road there, just outside of Charleville. It's a good little spot, uh, right near the water. Nice and relaxed and quiet. It was, uh, yeah, good. Anyway, today we are going to push through to Windora and then hopefully get into Batuta at around half past two, three o'clock this afternoon. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, that's the plan at the moment. Uh, see how the weather's going, they're predicting some rain for tomorrow, no, sorry, today, no, yeah, today, so we'll see how we go, hopefully we should uh, beat that and get to Birdsville without any dramas, uh, it is what it is for rain, so we'll just have to ride it out and see how we go, anyway, it was a good drive so far, we left her pretty early this morning, so it's now 20 past 9, so we're just, yeah, just left Quilby. Uh, all travelling well, had no dramas, it's been good. So, had a, like I said, we've had hiccups earlier in the piece, but um, now we're all uh, smooth sailing, which is good. Anyway, we'll keep this updated. There's lots of vans on the road since we got into Quilby. There is just there was just vans everywhere. We've got about probably about six or seven in front of us at the moment, and no doubt they're all going the same place we we all are. Anyway, we'll uh, touch base with you. Well, good morning. Last night we stayed at Petuda. Um, coming through Windora, the fuel line was full on. The, uh, <coughs> the service station was totally out of fuel, so the only place for fuel was the shop. We won Bowser, so they were lined up pretty full on. But we had, oh, by the time we got to Windora, we had uh, 60. We had, sorry, half a tank and 60 liters in Jerry's. So we decided to push on to Batuta. Um, that should work, that worked out alright that we should make it into Birdsville. So we've left Batuta this morning. Um, we've currently got about 91 kilometres to go until we uh, until we reach Birdsville. And I'm sitting on just under half a tank, so we should be sweet to get in there. Uh, apparently um, we got a little bit of rain last night at Batuta, which is it's it's made the road really good. It's no dust, it's brilliant. Um, the road's in really good condition. Um, we'll show you that a little bit later when we do, we'll do a bit of uh, the track as we've been going. But yeah, a bit of rain last night. They're predicting more rain on Sunday. So apparently the bash organisers at this stage are saying if you've got a two day early entry, you can go in tomorrow or it's going to be on uh, Monday with the possibility of maybe Saturday if there's going to be no rain but they're saying Sunday they're talking 10 to 15 mil rain which is not going to be pretty so <coughs> anyway um, it is what it is you just got to uh, whatever they come up with that's what we've got to go, uh, go and do so hopefully we don't get too much rain because everyone knows what the common's going to go like it's going to um, yeah, get pretty nasty so we'll see what happens. Anyway, we'll um, when we get into Birdsville, we'll uh, we'll have a chat then. But anyway, at this stage, we're just um, pumping along. We caught up with um, with Andrew and Lorraine. 
that we met last year at the bash and also Tex and Julie um, and their daughter Tilly. So we caught up with them last night, uh, yesterday with Nora and we stayed the night at the Petruda with them which was really good to catch up. So anyway, we'll uh, punch on in and we'll have a chat later. Cheers. Do the bronc yards. Morning. We've just arrived at uh, Birdsville, so just up here getting water now. That's the water fill point just up here. We've just emptied the cassette. Uh, yeah, here we are. She's a bit, uh, had a bit of rain here last night, so it's uh, not real pretty. But anyway, you get that. Van's uh, a bit of a bit of a mess, but yeah, well, not to worry. It is what it is. We are here, um, we're just going to head into town um, and go and get some fuel and then we'll go and see where we're going to camp at. There's Tex and Julie up there getting water um, and Andrew and Lorraine are up there, they're up there getting water as well. Um, the water taps up here in Birdsville, everyone thinks oh yeah, here in the middle of nowhere in Birdsville, but the water is top quality, it is brilliant for drinking, so there's no issue with that. So if ever you're coming up this way, don't be concerned about water, you'll be fine. Anyway, we'll uh, catch up with you when we get to town. Ah, so this is where we come to get your tickets. Information centre. So it's Thursday now, so it's pretty, um, not a hell of a lot of people here. The line up's really short compared to what it was last year. Uh, last year we were way up there somewhere. This year it's a lot of stuff back here, so it'll be good. Got heaps of uh, food vendors and everything lying around here. So we've just went and got fuel. Don't um, don't do what everyone else does. Don't go and take your caravan off before you go and get fuel. It makes life so much easier for everyone. So yeah, so we've been and done that. Yeah, um, 
all done. <laughs> so, now we're just getting the line now and go and get our tickets. So when you get into Birdsville, the best thing to do is if you go empty your toilet, go straight to the um, dump point. Now there's one as you come in just near the race course. So the best thing is get there, dump your toilet. Then get straight to the first tap. There's taps everywhere all the way along the edge of the road at the common. Top up your van. Once you've got that done, then go and find your spot where you're going to camp up. Drop your van off. Get set up if you want to get set up, or just unhook, unhitch, get straight into town, go and get your fuel, then go and line up and get your tickets. It's so much easier. We, we, we literally got here an hour and a half ago, and we're completely done. We've got everything done now, so we're going to go back, and we can enjoy the rest of the day now, and finish to start setting up. So if you do all that stuff, it makes it so much easier, and you beat the hell of a lot of the queues. He doesn't even need me. <laughs> What do you reckon, Dazza? <laughs> Dazza's too sober, yeah. He's talking to me. Too early, too early. This is all my time to go to the park. You know, we're going to be watch everyone Did you get that? Watch everyone else settle up. <laughs> yeah. None of them beside him, B, make sure it's level. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty close. Like, Let's play the showers. Yeah. Well, uh, I can see that. Fine. Oh, you have to make it weird. <laughs> First night fever, big red bash. How are you, B? I'm good. How's your journey? Oh, yeah. How's your journey been? Yeah, really good. good. A little bit rainy and muddy through the dowry, but yep. coped okay. Nice to come out here and see that. How amazing is that? Yeah, it's good. We've got the sunset out the back out there. We've got a fire going. We've got a heap of NDC people over here with us at the moment, which is really awesome. So uh, just get out and enjoy it. This is what it's all about. If you want to come and do the NDC paddy, Come and do it. Don't hold back. Are you ready, Chris? That's top. Yep. 100%. If you want to do it, come and do it. Don't hold back. <laughs>